Hello all, this is Anis with you. Welcome to my channel. In this ASP.NET Core tutorial, we will see how to create a beautiful home page, login screen and register screen. Let's see the demo of the application which we are going to build. This is our inventory application. In the last video, we had added the login and registration features to our application using the ASP.NET Core identity framework. If you have missed to watch that, please watch it. I will keep the URL link of the video in the description box. Let's click the register link first. This is the registration page of our application. It looks very nice, isn't it? Okay, let's register a user by entering username and email address. After that, we will enter the password and retype the password. All set to go. Let's click the register button to get registered. Wow, the user is registered successfully and also logged in. Next, let's do logout and click the login link to see the login screen. This is our login screen. Here you can log in either by entering the username or email. It supports both. Let's enter the email address and enter the password to login and then click the remember me checkbox so that you don't need to enter username and password every time. We are now successfully logged in. This is the home page of the application. Let's click the units menu link to load the units listing page. After logging in, we are able to do all actions on the units module. We have seen enough of the units module in the previous videos. If you have missed anything, please follow the playlist. Playlist URL is available in the description box. Let's click the logout link. Okay, the application looks good, but how it is done? Let's see how it is done. It's going to be very, very interesting. This is our inventory application, which we are making for some time now. Let's click the register link to load the register screen. It doesn't look good and looking very unprofessional. Likewise, let's click the login link to load the login screen. Even this, I don't like it. But no worries, we will make these two screens to look beautiful in the easiest ways. First, open login.cshtml from the account folder. Scroll down to the bottom and search for external login div. Yes, we found it. Delete this div. We don't want this. We are not going to implement external logins in this project, at least now. So maybe in the future, we will add this. Let's run and check the login screen. Yes, the external login div is deleted now. Next, we will delete the links of register as new user and recent email confirmation. And then open the index.cshtml from the home folder which is inside the views folder. After that, delete everything inside the p tag and cut the h1 tag. Then after, paste the h1 tag inside the p tag. Now, change the h1 tag CSS class to text-center followed by font-weight-bolder. Delete the word welcome and enter inventory manager which will be our project name. Very soon, I will change this project name from inventory beginners to inventory manager. After that, add a div and set the CSS class to row followed by a m-2. m-2 stands for margin 2. Inside this div, add two more divs. The first div with bootstrap class call-8 and the second div with call-4. Then, go to your project location in Windows File Manager and navigate to the www root folder of your project. After that, create a folder named images in the www root folder. Then open images folder and copy a image named shoppingcart.png. This image I downloaded from the internet using the Google. I know you guys are very smart, so please download any image of your likes and put it in this folder and name it to shoppingcode.png. Then in the first div, add a p tag 
and inside the p tag add a h5 element with some text in it. Then in the second div add a image tag and set the source to the path of the image which we just pasted. In my machine it is images slash shopping cart dot png and set the CSS class to image dash fluid then save and run the application. Now the home screen looks good but it still needs lots of improvement so let's continue adding beauty to it. Hello all making YouTube video takes lot of time and efforts but all these efforts should have a meaning so please like comment and share this video. Thanks a lot let's continue to the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified. Then add a style tag. I know this is not the right place to add styles. We should keep all the style classes in CSS folder inside the www root folder. But no worries I will move this to site.css file later. Then after add a style class named index div. We are going to set this class to the div of the index page and few other pages. Then add a style attribute named position and set it to fixed. After that add the background style attribute and set the background attribute to linear and set the direction parameter to right. Then after set the start color code parameter to hash C4EOEO. And then set the end color code parameter to hash C4EOF9. And after that, add a style attribute named top and set top equals to 8%. Because we have header menu above this div, we need to leave space for that header menu. So we set top equals to 8%. Then add a style attribute named left and set left attribute equals to 0. We want our div to start from the left extreme. So we set left equals to 0. Then add a style attribute and set min dash height equals to 85%. This is very important. If we don't set this min height, our div will not expand to fill the entire area. Try removing this attribute and check the output. Let me know your outcome in the comment section. Then add the style attribute min dash width and set it to 100% because we want our div to fill the complete area. We are now completed creating the index div style class. Let's set this class to the parent div. Then save and build the application. After that run the application to view the output screen. Wow, the body area of the home page is looking great. I really really like this color combination. Now we need to add the beauty to header and footer section. Go to the views folder and then open shared folder from the views folder. After that open the layouts.cshtml from the shared folder. Then scroll to the top of the layouts.cshtml. After that collapse and wrap up the header section with the div. To wrap the header with the div add a div tag above the header starting line and close the div tag just below the header section closing tag. Careful while doing this. If you use the wrap up with div menu of the visual studio then visual studio will add the div above the body tag and we may not get the desired output. Now add the container dash fluid style class to the div which we just added. And then add the background the inline style attributes. Then set the background attribute to linear dash gradient and set the direction of the gradient to right. After that set the start color code to hash 28340B and end color code to hash 197. 696. After that save and run the application. Oh no we did not get the output we wanted. It's ok we will check and fix it. Expand the header section and delete the navbar dash light and bg dash white from the 
navbar classes. After that, save and run the application. Wow, now the header menu looks better. Then we want to change the menu colors to white. Open a server side code block using the add symbol followed by curly braces and then close the curly brace. Inside the curly brace, add a variable of type string and name it as menu text color. Then set menu text color to text dash white and then copy the variable menu text color. After that, paste the copied text to the class attributes of the a tag next to the navbar dash brand class. And then replace the class name text dash doc of the home menu item with the menu text color variable. And do the same for all the menu items. Then after save and run the application. Wow! Now the left side section of the header is looking very good and this is the output we are looking for. But still the right side menu items are having dark color. We want to change this also to white. Copy the menu text color variable declaration section and then open the underscore login partial dot CSHTML. Then paste the copied block above the navbar menu section. After that, change all instances of text dash doc class name to menu text color. Then save and run the application. Now the header menu codings are completed. Let's do the same for the footer section. Open the layouts.cshtml and scroll down to the bottom of the page till you find the footer section code. And here add the inline style and add background attribute then set the background attribute to linear dash gradient then set the parameter direction of the linear gradient to left and set the start color code to hash 28340b and end color code to hash 197696 notice here we set the linear gradient direction to left but in the header section we had set the direction to right. The color codes are same for both. After that add the menu text color variable to div of the footer menu. Then after add a style class to the privacy menu item. Then set the style class attribute to menu text color variable. That's it. We are good to go. Let's save and run the application. Wow, the footer section is also looking good. Now we are done with the home page creation. The home page is a very important page for any application. It does not matter what technology you use and what features you have it in. If the user interface and home page are not looking good and fail to attract the stakeholders, then there is only very minimum chance of getting funds for your project. So try to put your maximum creativity here. Then next we need to add the beauty to the login and register screens. Now we will create the CSS class for login form and registration form in the site.css. So open the site.css from the CSS folder which is inside the www root folder. Create a CSS style class named centered container. And then add the attribute position and set this position attribute to absolute. Then add the transform attribute and set transform attribute to minus 50% from top and minus 50% from left. This is very important otherwise the form will not be displayed in the center. Actually what it does is it moves our div in the way so that our center of the div is in the 0, 0 position as shown in the figure. Then after set the top equals to 50% so that the center of the div is now moved to the center of the body area by height. After that set the left equals to 50% so that the center of the div is now moved to the center of the body area in x axis I mean by width. Let's set this entire container class to our login div 
then after we will save and run the application to see the output Notice the login screen is displayed in the center of the screen. Let's continue to achieve our goal. First, delete h1 tag which has title from the login form. After that, change the content inside the h4 tag to welcome and change the h4 tag to h5 tag. Then open the site.css again and this time we are going to add style attributes to the form placed inside this centered container. To do that type dot centered container and leave a space then type form. After that include a curly braces set. Inside this curly braces add the background attribute and set background equals to linear dash gradient and set the direction of the gradient to left. After that, set color code start parameter to hash 28347D and color code end parameter to hash 19767D. Then set the padding to 3M. After that, set the border dash radius to 20px. Then save and run the application. For my surprise, it's a big flap. We did not get the expected output. Why? Why? Okay, I found the issue. Actually, the problem is not with our code, but the real problem is with the browser. All browsers usually downloads all the CSS, JavaScript and image files and then keep them in the local cache. And if the same file is requested again, then the browser serves the file from the local cache. So to overcome this issue, there is a tag helper named asp-append-version in the asp.net core. Open the layouts.cshtml and find the line which links the site.css file. In this line, add the attribute asp-append-version equals to true. Then save and run the application. Wow! Now the gradient background is applied to the form and it looks very nice. Do you agree with me? But still some work is left. We will set the text iPhone decoration of the A tag to none so that the underline for the A tag links are removed from the login and the registration forms. Then we will add the style to the hover event of the A tag. Actually what we are doing here is we are adding a shadow to our text of the A tag so that when we move the mouse over it, we can see a shadow on the forgot password link. After that, we will add the border radius of 20px to all the inputs of the login and registration forms. This we do to make the input controls to have rounded edges. Then size of the submit button is very small and does not look great. So we will increase the size of the submit button to 150px. After that, when we move the mouse to the form area, I want to make the form to emboss a bit. To achieve this, just set the margin to 8px. Then add a style to the on focus event of all the controls of the form. When a focus happened to any of the control of the registration or login form, then the control will slightly pops out. This we do by setting the margin to 2px and setting outline to none. Now let's see the output of what we done so far. Wow, it looks beautiful. But what happened to the login button? It's not proper. No worries, we will work on it. First, add the text dash center to the parent div of the form. Then remove the labels of the controls. And also remove the validation divs of the controls. We have the validation summary div. That's enough for us. Then add the placeholder to username text box as email or username because we will allow the user to log in either by entering his email or username. Next add the placeholder for the password text box. After that add the inline style to the remember me checkbox and set the width to auto. Then come to the submit button. In here change the bootstrap class btn-primary to btn-danger and add text-white class. Then 
This is the very important step. Change the button tag to input tag and set the value attribute to login. After that, save and run the application. Now the output is better than before, but still the width of the login button is not changed. Ok, found the issue. Very simple silly spelling mistake. I missed to add a dot before the btn class. Now I added the dot. Let's run and see the output now. Wow, finally we got the expected output. Still the background is white, but I want to have the home page background color to the login form and registration form. To do that, go to the index.cshtml and cut the index div style class. After that, paste the index div style class to the site.css. Then open the login.cshtml and add a div and set this div as the parent to the page by wrapping the complete page content inside this div. After that, set the style class to index div for this div. Then save and run the application. Let's click the login button. Wow, now the background color is also set for this login screen. I like this screen very much. And if you also like it, please subscribe and share the video. Now the login screen is done. Let's go to the register screen. Nothing new in the register screen that we do not watch in the login screen. But I want to show you how I did. First, find the external identity login div and delete the external login div. After that, set the call dash 4 class for the register content div because registration screen looks better if it is increased slightly by the width. Then add the container class and send dot container class to the register content div because we want to keep our register content div at the center of the screen. Then after add the text dash center class to the register content div. This we add to keep the controls of the register content div in the center. And then change the heading from h4 tag to h5 because the heading looks better inside the h5 tag. After that, delete the label of username text box and then also delete the validation span of the username text box. Then after, add the placeholder with the text username to the username text box. And then do the same for the email text box also. I hope you can do it by yourself even without watching the screen. Likewise, do the same for the password text box also. And then next, do the same sequence of steps for the confirm password text box also. After that, come to the submit button. Here, we have to change the tag of the submit button to input from the button tag. Then change the btn dash primary class to btn dash danger class so that the submit button looks red. And looks nice in the dark background. Then change the value of the submit button from input to register. After that delete the h1 tag which contains the view data of title. Then add a div and make this div as the parent div for the content div by wrapping the content div inside this div. That's it we are done. Save and run the application. Here we go. We got the beautiful register page and I really like this register page, login page and home page. If you also like, please share and subscribe to my channel. With this, I am completing this video. Before I sign off, I request you to subscribe and share this video. I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for all of the new videos that I will be posting. Thank you and bye for now.